All right, sugar, how are we doing today? You doing all right? Good, good, I'm glad to hear it. All right, well, we've got quite the head of hair that we are working with today. Tell me a little bit about why you booked the appointment. Okay, I saw on the booking that you had it down for a color consultation. Mm-hmm, so what color are we wanting to go to? Honey, you're wanting to go platinum? All right. Well, we are in for a treat then, aren't we? Yes, we are. Are you okay if I go ahead and start touching your hair? Perfect. Thank you very much, dear. Okay, so have you ever had your hair colored before? Either at a salon or with a box? Okay, and how long ago was that? Okay, you got quite long hair, so there might be a little bit in the ends that I would need to be careful of as we do some coloring. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, sweetie. Going from this dark color to platinum is gonna be quite, quite the task. It's gonna take quite a few different appointments. You're gonna be here for hours each time, um, and it's gonna be real expensive, sugar. If you're okay with that, I mean, I can keep kind of fussing with it and seeing a little bit. Tell me, you know, how about this? You got a few tangles in your hair here. No worries, no worries. I can take care of it. Um, why don't I go ahead and get the hairbrush and brush some of these tangles out? And then as I do that, we can kind of talk about why you're wanting to make such a drastic change, okay? Okay, pumpkin, I'll be right back. blasted thing ready for you. I know it. All right. And then, is this the kind of brush to use at home? Okay, something similar? Okay. Are you tender-headed at all? No. Perfect. Okay. You just let me know if I start tugging too hot. Okay, I try to be real gentle, but some of the tangles can be a wee bit stubborn. Okay. Um... So, this is your natural color up top. Okay. All right. So, yeah, go ahead and tell me a little bit about why you're wanting to change. Okay. Oh, you just moved here recently. Okay, all right. Where'd you move from? I see. So you moved from up north. Okay. I think I'm getting the lay of the land here. Yeah. So you moved from up north. You came down here to south. Um, you're not wanting to change and go platinum per chance because all the ladies down here prefer blonde, right? I mean, I know I've got my hair done all blonde. But that don't mean you have to get your hair done blonde. I really like this color on you. It fits you quite well. I just don't want you feeling any peer pressure to go blonde just because you're down in the south now. Okay. So it's just really something you've been wanting to do for a while? Alright, as long as that is the case, and it's not you trying to fit into any kind of stereotypes down here. Although... You know, quite frankly, that would not be any of my business if you wanted to fit into the stereotypes, but I just want to make sure. Okay. So really just looking for a change to match the move. Yeah. How long you been down here for, sugar? Oh, not long at all. You are fresh, honey. You finding everything you need around town? It can be tricky. It can certainly be tricky coming to a new place. I'll tell you what, though. 
you've got real nice hair. It's really nice and strong. You don't seem to do too much to it to cause any damage. How often do you wash it? Okay, okay, that's a good amount, yeah. Do you find that it tends to be more dry or more oily? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see that. All right, just wanted to make sure that I was reading that correct there. Oh. How about this? I'll take a few notes on your hair here, on the color, density, what we got going on for strength and elasticity, that kind of thing. Um, and then kind of get my best guesstimate as far as how long I think it'll take us to take you from black to platinum. Uh, without frying it off because that would be my big concern is just straight up frying it and turning you into Bozo the Clown. Um, so I'll take some notes here and then I'm gonna be honest sweetie I can sense a whole lot of tension coming off of you. I see what has to do with your move. Yeah. Yeah I figured. My next appointment canceled on me. No, 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 don't you, don't you go apologizing. First off, it's not your fault. Uh, second off, I put her at the end of the day constantly because she keeps doing this to me and it's really hard to enforce a cancellation fee in this town when everybody knows everybody. Um, so I put her at the end of the day so when she cancels, it's not a, um, quite as much of a nuisance as it would be if she canceled in the middle. It's kind of like a little treat for me at the end. Ooh, I get to go home early in the middle of the week, that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm blabbing. My next appointment canceled, so I've got this whole evening free. How about, as we do your consultation, I give you a little bit of a scalp massage, and we can kind of figure out how long it'll take us to go from black to platinum, like I said, and I can tell you a little bit about the town and answer any questions you got. Does that sound good, sugar? Perfect. Okay. You can say no. I don't want you to feel like you're being held hostage here. Okay. You, you promise you don't have anything this evening? You're not just being nice? Okay. Alrighty. Well, you got any allergies? Okay. Because I'm thinking about using a nice lavender rosemary oil on your scalp here just to kind of get it in there. It'll have all sorts of nice properties for both your hair and your scalp. Yeah, it'll be real good. It smells real nice, too. Yeah. Okay, well, let me get that. Actually, let me get my notebook first. Man, you do just have a lot of hair on this head of yours. Oh, I forgot to ask. Are you wanting any sort of cut with the color? Okay. All right. Well... To be honest with you, I think after the amount of sessions we'll have to do to lighten it as much as you want to, we're probably gonna have to do a cut that takes off a decent amount of length because I'm assuming these lovely ends of yours are not gonna, they're not gonna last very long through all that. I can do all sorts of bonding treatments to them, um, but at the end of the day, it'll just look so much nicer and fresher if we trim the ends off. Okay, we can talk about that more later, too, but I just want you to be aware before we get into it. All right. All right, let me grab my notebook. take notes on all my clients hair that way I can go back to it if there's ever an issue or like say when we do the color I keep track of what we've done that way again if there's an issue I know exactly what we did but if you really like it I know exactly what we did and we can redo it okay all right so just confirming go ahead and confirm the spelling of your name sugar okay And 
then um, the email that you booked with, is that the best one? Okay, perfect. Okay, and I'd say we are about a shade. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say it's that one. Oh yeah, we got all sorts of sciencey shades. Okay. Alright, and then let's see. It's pretty healthy, pretty strong. I'd say you could probably handle a few sessions without needing any sorts of treatments or anything. No, uh, no danger for nothing, so that's real good. And it's windy out there today. Storm's blowing in, huh? You didn't bring it with you, did you? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, and when you say platinum, are you wanting like a warm kind of platinum or you're wanting like the grayed out platinum that's almost got like a lavender undertone to it? Mm -hmm. Well, with your skin tone and going from this shade, I think doing anything warm would be probably the biggest change. But if you wanted something a little more subtle, we could do some lavender undertones to it. That would probably match your makeup and clothing better. Um, but it's up to you. Yeah, I can pull some shades later on too before we get into it. Um, I kind of let you see them. Do you have any photos? Like pictures on your phone? Okay, didn't bring that. That's okay. That's okay, sugar. No worries. Okay, I'm just writing down that we are unsure about warm or cool tones at the moment. No worries there. Okay, and then the length. Right, right, right. Okay, let me just see here. Okay. And are you wanting any layers to be added into it anytime? Mm hmm. Alright. Yeah, we can certainly do that for you if you want that too. Um, Alright, so we'll do that. How do you feel about bangs later on? No, I hear you, I hear you. They're not for everybody, but when they are for somebody, they look real cute. Alright. Okay, I think that's good for the notes. I'm just gonna take this lovely lavender rosemary oil here and I'm gonna drop it along your head, get it nice and down to your scalp, and then we'll start on that massage, alright? Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking for your first um your first color appointment we'll have to strip you down, your hair, nothing else. Um I can get you a few shades lighter. I really I really want to be conservative about how we do it because I don't want to be frying your hair off and then you know that way also if we get to a shade that you really like and you decide you don't want to go full platinum we can stop there alrighty I swear this thing gets stuck every time Just drip, drop, drip, drop, drip, drop, drip, drop, drip. Really want to make sure I get it worked in. No, this oil's bad enough that it shouldn't make you look greasy and oily. It'll just be nice and. You know, kind of 
refraction for your scalp. Yeah. Nice little lotion treatment almost. You know how you use a good moisturizer on your face? It's kind of like that. Yeah. No crack. Alright, I've almost got you all taken care of here, pumpkin. Don't you worry. Just bear with me. I think we got that pretty evened out there. Pop that back on the shelf. Alright, so I'm gonna be real careful not to use my nails. And actually, you know what? I should take my rings off so they don't get caught in your hair. They would not be comfy for you or for me. Maybe. Tell you what, this southern heat makes my fingers swell up so bad. Sometimes I worry I'm gonna have to chop off my fingers to get those rings off. <laughs> All right, like I was saying, I'm gonna try not to use my fingernails just yet. I'm just gonna use the pads of my fingers to rub it in nicely there. And then I'm gonna use a nice bit of light pressure as I kind of do this. I'm gonna push on some pressure points in the back here and then on the sides of your temples. Are there any places that you currently have that are a little bit tighter than others? Okay, I can definitely make sure I hit those for you. Alrighty. If at any point you want to go home, I'm taking too long, or even if you just want me to shut my trap, you just let me know. Alrighty. I can yap all day long. <laughs> That's what we are good for down here in the south. Lots of yapping. Alrighty. And don't you worry about your hair, I'll smooth it out before you go home too. Alright, so just gently press in there. And rub in the back of your neck a little bit. And that'll relieve a lot of tension. And so how long did you say you've been here now? That's right, that's right, man, you are fresh. Alright, well, let's see, what are things that you need when you first come into town? Are you looking for a church? Okay, well I go to the non-denomination one down on Magnolia Street. Always welcoming new folk, you're always welcome there. Um, you don't need tattoos. No, no judgment, sugar, no judgment at all. I got a few myself. Um, the only reason I ask is, you know, I don't know your denominational preferences and all that, but if you have tattoos, I would avoid um, the Southern Baptist Church, all the hazel. Yeah, you know, between you and me, I think uh, the good Lord probably doesn't give one hoot or holler about a little bit of ink under my skin, but um, those folks seem to think a little differently over there, and they are willing to cause a riot. Uh, if you show up with some tattoos, I learned the hard way, so I'll just protect you from that. Not to scare you off or anything, but um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, if you're looking for a church, the one off of Magnolia is real good. I'll treat you like family over there. Let's see. Where'd you do your shopping at? Up north. Okay. Okay. Well, we got some few different stores down here in the south. Um, you know, for the most part, the Winn-Dixie tends to have most everything you need. But, uh, if you're looking for things like meats and cheeses, I would definitely go to the little delicatessen off of, oh shoot, what's that street name? I only know some of the street names here, most of it's just like, turn right at the big raspberry bush, or anyway, off of the main square, there's a little deli, owned by a real sweet couple. Yeah, they'll get you a real good price on some real good meats and cheeses for some sandwiches and everything. Um, do, if you want to go there, just, just tell them that I sent you. But 
their oldest son went off to college and came back with some fancy marketing or business degree or whatever and all he talks about is profit margins to his mom and dad now and he's trying to get them to up their prices and you know anyway they won't up their prices if they know that you know someone in town or you're from town or he's calling it the tourist tax or something like that I don't know crazy nonsense yeah don't you worry I won't let anyone tourist tax you no you just give him my name Alright, I'm just pressing there real nice. There you go. And for anything the Wind Dixie doesn't have, quite frankly, tractor supplies really good at carrying a lot of odds and ends and bobbles if you need them. Yeah. And you know, if you need it. A duckling or a chicken. Every now and again you can get them there too. I'll tell you what, that place has everything. We do have a farmer's market. Um, that pops up, I want to say, every third Saturday. Be able to get all sorts of fresh things there. From all the different families in town. Mm -hmm. We got one that grows is they grow really nice strawberries that's what they do um and then the Pritchards they do real good sweet corn oh my goodness if you have not had the Pritchard sweet corn you have not lived honey you gotta get your hands on some of that and then the the Hatfields I think I think they're the ones that do the tomatoes um and I mean Everybody does a little bit of salt. That's the main thing. So yeah, Win Dixie for your main needs. That little deli for, you know, meats and cheeses. Tractor supply for your odds and ends. And then the farmer's market for, you know, fresh fruits and veggies. Mm hmm Let's see what else. Yeah, I'm just going to push in. I'm going to use my nails a little bit now. I know we could all use a good head scratch every now and again. Real nice and relaxing. Okay, you know what? Hold still for me. I'm going to take my two thumbs and I'm going to press into the pressure points on your neck here at the base of your spine. And just... Breathe in for me. All right. And breathe out. Good job. Okay. And release that. Good. Does that feel a little better? All right. One more time. Okay. Breathe in. Pressure right there. Good job. Now you're doing real good. Okay, and breathe out. Good. Good job, sugar. Okay. Alright, now I'm gonna get your temples now, too. So we're just gonna press in right here. Breathe in. Okay. Just press in right there. Man, honey, you are tense. Moves going that poorly, huh? <laughs> you poor thing. Okay. Just, just breathe normal, sweetie. You got a special someone out the back up north or okay no I hear you I hear you I'm not trying to be nosy or nothing 
No, I just... Everyone else here in town would be more than happy to be very nosy about your romantic life. So just be warned about that, especially, um, Beth Ann over there. Yeah, she tries to set everybody up with somebody, so if you're not interested in that, just kind of keep out of her hair, alright? Hmm? No, Beth Ann, sweetie, I did not say your name. Honey, you have got to get that complex of yours worked out. You constantly think people are talking about you. No, you gotta, you gotta work through that, sugar. Mm-mm, no. Well, I do not need that kind of sass from you, ma'am. Sheesh. And this one over here. I told you she's nosy. Nothing. I said nothing at all. Go back to your work. You got clients yourself. Anyway. The reason I ask. Because if you don't have a partner, you stay away from Tristan McCoy, alright? No, 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 oh goodness, no. No, it's not that I'm, I'm not sweet on Tristan, quite the opposite, actually. She got married. I'm a happily married woman, I want nothing to do with that fool. They just like to go around breaking everybody's hearts, causing quite the mess, and... Unless you're just super into being smack in the middle of all the drama, I would stay far, far away from them. Mm -hmm. Seriously, Mark, if they come anywhere close to you, you just run for the hills, honey. I've never seen one person cause so much mess in my life. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I grew up in the town, and then I moved away for a little bit. Came back to help take care of my mamma. Yeah. Anyway, so I, I grew up with Tristan. Know all their tricks. And my goodness, they have not changed a little bit since the early days. Mm-mm. Yeah, when I moved away, that's when I met my husband. Yeah. I guess I came back to take care of Mamma. Because none of my good from nothing cousins were going to do it. Joke's on them, though. When she passed, bless her soul, left everything to me and my husband. That's what you get if you don't take care of family. Anyway, she owned a lot more land than anyone thought she did. Turns out we own, like, half the town. Yeah. That band's been salty about it ever since. <laughs> That's why I know everything about everything here, though. Yeah, so if you need any information, you just come talk to me. I mean, you don't have to, but... I'd be lying if I told you I wasn't a good resource. You poor thing. Do you need help moving any boxes or something? You got everything undone well? Okay. Well, if you need any help, you just holler. No. I mean, you live here now. You're one of our neighbors. You know, we gotta take care of each other around here. No, I give most of the folk hell. I mean, it's half the fun is making fun of them. But there's some good folk around here. You know, you just gotta stay away from, you know, the, the grandfathers that are a little, well, they missed a few software updates, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So 
Oh, you stay away from them. Most everyone else is pretty nice. They'll just be very happy to get into your business. Oh, you know what? I didn't even offer you nothing to drink. Are you thirsty at all? You want something to eat? Are you sure? We got a gallon of sweet tea in the back. I know, that's very stereotypical of us. Got some water, still and sparkling. Lemonade? Are you sure? Okay. Now we got some food too. Have you eaten today? Alright. Oh, that reminds me. That little diner that's off of, um... Oh, what is that street name? I don't know. It's past the big boulder. Well, the big boulder. No, there's the little boulder and there's a big... I'll show you on a map once we're done or something. Um, the little diner. That one has the best sandwiches. If you're looking for something like that. Mm-hmm. The best short rib, too. Oh my goodness, it is to die or falls right off. It's so... Mm, you have to try the short rib. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want barbecue. Everyone around here is real picky about which barbecue place they support. We got two families that have been going up against each other Years and years and years. It's kind of like the corn business. We got the one family does the sweet corn. Another family's trying to encroach on the sweet corn business. It's a whole thing. We southerners, I tell you what. I prefer. I, I do prefer the McCoys barbecue. Yeah. One and the same with Tristan McCoy. They are troublemaker, but the rest of their family does like barbecue and smoked meats and such. So good. It is so, so good. You have no idea. Just. Oh. But if you tell anybody that I said that, I will deny it to my grave, okay? And you can't be letting anybody know your preference around here. Unless you want to get into World War Three over barbecue. Shoulders feeling a little bit looser now. Good. Good, I'm glad to hear it. Alrighty. Let me get... I got these fancy new, like, fantangled brush things. Let me grab that. Green or white? I think we'll go with this one today. Okay. So got these like little silicone teeth. Anyway, they feel real funny, but they feel real nice on the scalp, so I'm just gonna do this. Right. Now I'll take real good care of you, don't you worry. Feels real good, huh? Good. Now you poor thing. You're more wound up than fish and wire. I suppose I didn't even welcome you to the town. Welcome. Well, I think you'll like it here. And if you don't, you know, sorry. No, it's a quaint little place. I'd 
say you'd fit right in, but I don't think you will, and I think that's a good thing. We could use some movers and shakers around here. Besides, I need someone to stir up trouble with. No, ever since I moved back. You know, you do a little bit of time in the city, and you come back and folks start looking at you differently. My husband being a city boy doesn't have much. I don't know what to do with him. Yeah. It doesn't help much that he thoroughly enjoys causing trouble wherever he goes. Yeah. Well. Anyway. I think you'll do just fine here. And if you ever need any help, you know where to find me, okay? And if that fan ever gets in your business, you can just tell her to, well, the words I was about to say were not kind enough for sweet little Miss Mary Susie who's over there, so. You can tell that fan to mind her own. She thinks she runs this town. Don't let her get away with that. Right there. Tell you what, that storm's blowing in. We better get you on out of here. And then go ahead and brush your hair back out. We'll get you scheduled for that coloring. I will send you on your way for that, okay? Alright. Well, hey, anytime that you want to get scalp massage, you just come right on back. Yeah. You're fun to talk to. Not everyone is. Be real careful and not break any ends or nothing. You always, always start with brushing at the ends and then work your way up. You know that though, based on how long this hair of yours is. Fixed right up there, sugar. We got quite the tangle right here. Not pulling too hard, right? Make sure it pulls through smooth lack. Okay. That's you all taken care of then. Yeah, got that nice and smooth down. Good to go. Why don't we go ahead and get up to the front desk so I can look at my calendar. And we'll get you on the books for the color appointment. Maybe a trim. If you're up to it. I won't pressure you to do nothing though. And then we'll send you on your way. That way you can beat the storm, okay? Alrighty. 
and we'll put you on the books. That way Beth Ann doesn't try to poke you from me. Alright. Right on this way, okay. Come on. Oh, I still have the brush in my hand. 